doesn't say finished yet. There must be one place that I'm missing. Oh, did I miss someone in here? Oops, oops, oops. Um, yep, I missed someone. But basically, uh, I did that. Oh, the chief, the actual bandit chief. So, that's all. What? I thought I had a. I'm pressing. I'm trying to shout, and I realized I didn't have a shout. Okay. Okay, bandit chief killed. We've proven ourselves, hopefully, and let's go back and report. Oops. Will not be looting anything, so I'm trying to be speedy. The point of this story is that I forgot to change my settings back. And when I got the video back, oh, I noticed while I was recording that, the that my game started being really um, jagged, kind of, I don't know how to describe it, like frames were dropping pretty, pretty low, like it must have been like 20 FPS at some points, which was really bad, and I noticed it and I talked about it, I was like, I don't know why my frames are dropping so much, normally this does not ever happen, um, and then while I was trying to remux my recording because I film in a format called MKV. Um, oh, oops, wrong person I'm talking to. Um, which means that if anything happens to the recording, it saves it basically as is, and you don't lose anything because I've been burned before. If you film an MP4, like say you're filming an hour-long video in MP4, and right before you stop the recording, your computer crashes or something, you would have lost the entire file. Versus if you film an MKV, oh, I'm getting my Imperial gear. Uh, that's really not necessary. I'm, I'd rather, oops, I failed joining the Stormcloak Rebellion. If you film an MKV and your computer crashed, then you would have, it would stop right at the moment it crashed and you wouldn't have lost your entire thing. So that's why I record. Um, okay, now we are getting the jacket crown. Yep. So, but what it does is basically you have double the file size because it, it's, you know, if you've got an 8 gigabyte uh, video, then you've got the 8 gigabyte MKV file, then you remux that into MP4, and then you've got an 8 gigabyte MP4 video. So obviously these Skyrim videos are pretty long, so they're, they're pretty big usually. Um, and I didn't have enough space in my computer even to completely remux it, and I was like, what? I, 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 how big is this file? And the file ended up being like 75 or 80 gigabytes, which is huge. That's usually the size of like my three hour long Skyrim videos, and this was not nearly as long as that. So I was incredibly confused why my file was so big. And I know you know where this is going. It's because I had forgotten to change the format or the, uh, the resolution and I had filmed the entire thing in 4K, which is why my computer wasn't running well, which is why I ran out of space, like all of this. Um, it led to a disaster of a video. It was, nothing was even salvageable from it. Like the first 20 minutes of the video would go like this, like is stationary. And then all of a sudden she'd jump forward to being like, here, and then it was stationary. And then like another 30 seconds later, it jumped like, here, it was completely unusable. Um, and then after the 20 minutes, where's like Erica? Is she not here? Did I beat her? What's going on? Thank you for the welcome. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I know what we're doing here. I wonder if I can just go forward with it. I wonder if I can just move on, because I don't want to wait for her. Maybe she'll appear when I go inside. But kind of weird that she's not there, to be honest. Oh, they're, uh, they're not hostile. <laughs> I take it I can't go inside? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. <laughs> well, I bypassed that. I guess I'm finding my own little shortcuts left and right, huh? I will not be, I don't even know I got my sword out, I'm a little faster without it. I will not be stopping to fight any of these people. I will just be rushing ahead to get the jagged crown. So yeah, I ended up um, completely filling up my computer with space. I had to delete a bunch of stuff that it was unusable. And um, like after the 20 minute mark, 
like it did start to uh, actually move like this but at like 20 frames per second and I don't mind if my video is in full 60 frames per second all the time because I'm I'm an ASMR gaming channel and I don't think quality is very important to me but I have to I need to upgrade my computer a bit so I give you know I, I have realistic expectations for my slightly older computer I know it's not gonna run everything at the best quality all the time so yeah I'm easy on it uh, other people are not but I I go easy on my computer and um, it was it was nowhere near 60 though it wasn't even like 50 or 40 it was bad and um hence why i ended up and it was very a very painful decision to delete the entire thing fox butterfly dragon fox butterfly dragon wow they're actually not gonna okay fox butterfly oh shoot Oh, great, now I gotta wait for it to go all the way through it again. Well, at least I'm alone in here. Um, I threw it out. The entire video. The, the audio was fine too. I was like, maybe I can re-record the video. Uh, nah, what, what would be the point? That would be so weird if I was reacting to a different video. Like, what you're watching. It just, I couldn't do that. And, um... Okay, this is the bit when it's like a dead end and it's so weird, so you just kind of You go up here and then uh, the old, I decided to be positive because I try to be a really positive person I think I struggled when I was younger with negativity So these days I try to be as positive a person as I can be And I don't even know why I'm looking in here <laughs> And um so I decided to take it positively and that this was experience for me because I did make a couple of silly mistakes in the video and some things took a lot longer than they should have um, because I hadn't done the quest in a while and I didn't remember a hundred percent of what I should do. I'm gonna use the axe of white run. I can because he's not hostile I can like get a nice I can get a nice hit on him. And then I'm gonna let them do the rest while I go up to the word wall. Sure, it'd probably be faster if I helped, but I'm not gonna help right now because I do want to get the word wall. And what is it? Time, slow time. That's nice. For some reason I have to click twice to get my weapon out these days. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, then I get the jacket. No, stop. I pressed the wrong button. <laughs> and I'm gonna wear it like the cool person that I am. Where is it? I can't read. Oh my gosh. Okay, I look absolutely ridiculous. I'm stuck. Nah, I look awesome, right? So cool. Um, wrong way. frustrating day, you know, you film for, I'll say, almost two hours, I'll say that, I'll give you guys an exact time, and then you find out you've wasted that time, and not only that, but you have no work to show for your day, like none, so I had to film something else, um, which is just like, pick another video, and, um, a game I really liked, Dwarf Romantic, had recently come out, so I decided to play that. Um, which is actually something I had already been thinking about playing, as I just left early access, but... Um, quick, quick shot, maybe for the thumbnail or something. In the, I don't know, this is not a great location. But, uh, oh, I guess I'll talk to him really quickly, and... Nah, 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 you know what, I actually don't care. I don't care about getting my armor, because it's just gonna weigh me down. I know this because I started running out of room <laughs> in my other, in my last video. Maybe this would be a cool shot for a thumbnail. I don't know. 
just hold it maybe. Oh yeah, but if you hold it then it like turns around, whatever. Hello Delius, here it is. Um, maybe I should, maybe I should try to get like one more before I actually have to give it up. Cause I feel like the, I don't know. I don't even know if this is a good shot. I'm just kind of wasting time here to be honest. like 
hard to see white run like destroyed. I think you only really see it destroyed if you play as the storm cloaks because you kind of mess it up a lot more. Okay, um, did a different mod just loaded because where's the gilder grant? <laughs> it didn't look like this a few minutes ago, did it not? I don't think it did. This was kind of weird. I must have had another mod that was like the load order changed because um, because now Open Cities isn't gonna work. You have to load in and out because the the way the, the, this quest goes. So I don't know. I I swear that the that this guy, or White Run didn't look like that a couple minutes ago. Alright, so now here's Legerica and she's gonna give a big speech and then we're gonna kill some storm clouds. Oh dear, what is, what is Ulf, uh, Ulf something? What is, what is he doing? They're trying to leave. You guys, you do not want to leave Skyrim right now. Or White Run, I keep saying Skyrim. This is not the best time to be leaving the city. Everyone with me for the Empire, for the Legion. Here we go, here we go. Defend the barricades, here they all come. Wonder if I can get them to like all line up. Where are they going? Where exactly are they going? Are they coming, or are they just stuck? Oh, careful, careful. Uh, I swear they just disappeared, right? They all went this way, and they are literally gone now. You guys saw this, right? Okay, what am I supposed to do? This is probably another reason why you don't want to do a speedrun with the modded game because it's got more of a chance of like breaking your game and I had far and something fishy is going on I might reload from exiting the city I think I gotta reload because I don't know what I don't know what this is I don't know what's going on but uh that's not supposed to happen <laughs> it's weird that did not happen to me the, the first time I did this yesterday I had no problems. I just, you know, the Stormcloaks arrived and we killed the Stormcloaks and that was that. Also, my game got weirdly kind of dark. Like, the shadows are like really, really dark. I don't... It's like the contrast is really extreme or something. I, I'm not really sure why my game suddenly looks different. It's odd. It's really odd. Her foot, her right foot is just floating. Okay, let's try this again. Um, if I swear if this game breaks and I can't get past this point, I'm gonna be so annoyed. Okay, here they go. What if I go meet them down here instead of them running off? Okay, they're coming down this way though. Oh yeah, I killed. Did I kill five? Okay, that's pretty good. I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm impressed with myself. Leave the horses alone, please. I'll get these guys over here. This axe is so good. Look at this. You can just chop right there. Like, it's slow, but I usually don't like doing it. I don't like feeling slowed down. But I will admit they are effective. Here comes more. Here come them storm cloaks. Someone get this one. Okay. Oh yeah. Battle axe for battle axe. You're on fire and now you're dead. 
just doing it for fun. This is more of a challenge for myself to be like, hey, I love Skyrim. Let me play some of the main quest and see how quickly I can do it. <laughs> just for fun, because <laughs> I won't say no to an excuse to play Skyrim. <laughs> And also to provide a really long video for you guys. It's a win-win, right? What's not a win-win is when you film an entire video and then it's useless and you throw it out. That's not a win-win, that's a lose-lose. Okay, let's go to Nightgate Inn and see if the innkeeper has, uh, I'm stuck. See if he's seen any couriers lately. I'm gonna intimidate because last time I know that the intimidate check worked and um, I, I'm gonna try waiting. I'm gonna see if that works. Wow, that was really good. Let me see if I can just steal them. Nah, okay. Now I gotta kill him. I will say that um, this was way faster actually, even though technically it cost in-game time. I think I have a storm cloak, uh, wears, cares, and I'm gonna wear that and the helmet to look like a storm cloak soldier to disguise myself. Ooh, it's a disguise. Ooh, ooh. Uh. Okay. Um, yeah, last time I went and I hunted him down, and that took way longer. And not only that, but I was beset by yet another dragon, and then.
actually several days after I was there with several friends. I was there with like one, two, three, four, five, six friends. And I was the last person to arrive. Some of them were there like five days earlier. One person was there just like one day earlier. But then I stayed like five or six days after. So, um, so the day that everyone was leaving, everyone else left the same day. seen the northern lights which was a of course it's it's not a certainty that you would see these things right uh it's just a weather phenomenon so there was like no guarantee that we were gonna see them we could guarantee that we see you know like uh parts of the city Reykjavik and stuff but the whole the trip had basically ended and we hadn't seen the northern lights and the night before their plane um they appeared in the city visible for all of us so that was just kind of amazing timing just perfect timing i loved it and um it was like a perfect send-off to the end of our trip there was a bit of like rough weather happening and because of that um the day before like that same day we had meant to go on a like a trip together that was cool we were supposed to go to um a black sand beach and see oh we were supposed to hike a glacier go on a glacier hike and our tour got cancelled before. Oh my gosh, I had a few levels level ups. I'm gonna quickly get some light armor. Let's get a couple of light armor and let's get some one-handed and two-handed. Oh, I meant to get the other one too. And two-handed and maybe I can get one for shouts too. For, for that could be under speech. Is there one for like shouting? Let, let me see. This is kind of taking a bit of time, but yeah, shouting. Oh, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Wait, wait, wait. Did it even work? Did I get it? Yeah, I did. Okay, it's weird. Um, so that door got canceled. It was really sad. Um, and because everyone was about to leave, they didn't get to do it. I did get to rebook another door um oh oh my gosh <laughs> so i did end up getting to see the black sand beach and i did end up going on the glacier hike and all i have pictures and videos of all this by the way if you're interested in like a vloggy style asmr video where i shoot pictures and all that um it's pretty cool and it's very rambly if you like the videos like this that are long where i ramble and i talk but I felt bad my friends didn't get to go with me on that, on all this stuff, which is sad. Uh, but we did get to see the Northern Lights, the Aurora Borealis, which is something that not everyone even gets to see when they when they go to Iceland or or anywhere. Okay, I think they're basically killed everyone. So let's head back to Solitude. I'm a sip of water. Whispering is rough on the throat. So I kind of hope I'm not destroying my vocal cords by doing this for a living. Which is part of why I always was frustrated. I was like, oh my gosh, I talked for so long yesterday. And I had, and I had to throw it out. It wasn't even usable. I just was like, destroying my voice for no reason. Not good. Hi, Dully. Look at that, another promotion. Has anyone ever been promoted so quickly? If only real life were like this, right? You do something nice and your boss is like, great, I'm giving you a promotion. Uh, every time, every single time <sighs> that you, you know, make them happy. Good job, you have a promotion. One of the few ways that, you know, I do wish life were like Skyrim. Other than that, I'm good without the dragons and the trolls and I'm good. There's quite a lot that I'm not missing. 
closet. We're done. Good job, good teamwork, even though it was me just doing 98% of that. No, no, don't do that. What? <laughs> so it's really, it's a really cool tactile response if you're using the switch because you can like physically feel the point where you would pick the lock, which is, I suppose, closer to actual lock picking. It's really neat. And if you do it in, you know, novice mode, it's really obvious. Like a novice lock would be like, da 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 So you clearly are like, oh, okay, well that deeper, duh, like that's the, that's the bit. But if you're doing a master lock, it's like imperceptible. You can barely tell. And you have to really listen and feel for the moment. It makes it like so cool. Like I've never had such a cool moment lock picking that. It makes it really enjoyable and it actually makes it a lot easier to pick like the harder locks because it requires your skill instead of you relying on the dragonborn's fake skills or whatever. I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm just babbling incessantly. It's, um, it's a weird skill that I've learned for making this kind of videos is just the ability to keep talking non-stop without any real topics in mind and it's kind of a lot harder than it seems it took me a while and I heard something that like people who start up these channels like or start streaming it's something that they struggle with or like you know if you've ever watched a streamer and they like barely talk you don't feel very engaged that's because it's it's kind of hard to keep talking to yourself effectively like i'm talking to you but you're not here with me at the moment that i'm talking to you it's a weird sensation okay so i don't know where lydia was but she got tired of waiting i think she's in white run i think i left her there when I was filming my Skyrim um, ambient video, which is actually really cool, and I have to plug it for a second. If you like Skyrim and ASMR, please check out this video. It's it's on my channel just a couple weeks ago called like POV. You're staying at the Bannered Mare, and I do it as if you are a person visiting. That's weird. I just drifted visiting and staying the night at the Bannered Mare. And it includes the a lot of the, the lovely ambient sounds of the tavern, like people eating and drinking and walking around quietly and the fire crackling. There's no people talking in it except for I recorded a few lines so that um, so that there would be like actual ASMR voices speaking. So I dubbed a few of the lines and I think it sounds really funny, but I also kind of love it. And I also dubbed myself singing some of the tavern songs and um, that was pretty fun too. Come on guys, line up. So if you enjoy like soft singing, and Skyrim ambiance. Please check out my video. You'll like it. You'll like it. I worked hard on it and I'm proud of it. Uh, it's a different kind of video to this one where I also I work hard on these. They clearly take a lot of time just to film and then do edit and then a really long time to render and upload. But, um, oh shoot, I missed. I totally missed. When this, when this sword, or this battle axe runs out of charge, I'm probably gonna switch weapons. There's no point in using this without the fire, I think. Oh, they're all over here. Where? It's annoying and they've got that tiny sliver of health left. Oh, I wanted to do fire, but there's Imperials right here and 
I just know I would hit them and I would kill them. And sure, that doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, you know, if they die, it's actually not a big deal, but this would be another great time for fire, wouldn't it?
somehow we can still see the dragon from way out in the reach on our hood. I don't know how, how that happened. Oh, it's a pretty game. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, there it is. That's the one I was talking about. You see it? It's pretty far away, but they have pretty good vision, so I'm a little worried. Man, my stamina is so weak. It's so bad. Very, very bad stamina. It looks like a bird almost from, from this far away. Alright, if we stay over here, hopefully uh, we'll remain hidden. I don't know, I think it's gonna... Oh dear, and... Oh, those are skeletons, okay. Well, yeah, I don't care about the skeletons. Oh, it's a lot of you, okay. Can you guys just, like, leave me alone? Maybe I shouldn't do that. I don't want to draw the attention of the dragon, which I've now lost sight of. Oh, there it is. It's kind of headed, like, right for us. Oh, dear. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. They've got good vision. If anything, look at the skeletons. Oh, seriously? You guys are still following me? Just rude. It's really rude. Yeah, look, there's a giant bonfire here. How are you not, like, seeing that? Oh, are you kidding me? Go away. I just don't have time for this, guys. I'm fighting a war. This is a battle for Skyrim, you know? Like, I wouldn't expect dragons to understand. I, I just fought the dragon war. <sighs> it's funny, this, like, realistically... You would think, if you kill, I'll do it, which I did. Who is the main threat to peace? Like, surely he was the force that was banding all the dragons together. He was their leader. You kill him, and the others are not, they don't have much incentive to fight, I feel like, or they're just not, they don't have a leader anymore. So you think that the dragon attacks would stop, <laughs> or at least would be, there'd be a lot less of them, but it's the opposite. There's, like, so, so many more dragon fights. I forget the exact number, but it's, like, four or five hundred percent more likely that they spawn an attack or something, or two hundred, maybe it's not that high, but it's really high, it's over a hundred. And I get why... From a gameplay perspective, you know, you make dragons the main point of this game, and if dragon souls, killing them are the key to getting more of these, uh, you know, unlocking these shouts, you can't take away the method to unlock the shouts. So, I get it, but it's like, what was the point of killing all doing if I was just gonna make the world a worse place? Wasn't the whole point to make Skyrim safe? And here Skyrim is not safe. Like, it's definitely worse off. Which is why, in most playthroughs, I will play to the point where I unlock shouts, the ability to get shouts and steal souls. Like, basically the Western Watchtower quest where we just were. And then I stop. I don't continue after that. Because why would I want to... Why would I want to... Make things so much worse? I wonder if there's another way in. Like, can I jump up here? Oh, come on, come on. Ah. Oh. I don't think I can do it. I'd have to whirlwind sprint and I just don't feel like whirlwind sprinting right now. Hey, 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 come on, come on, this gotta be it. Alright, I did it, Skyrim physics, yeah. That's some Skyrim physics for you. Hello, how are you? I'm, uh, good, but I will be taking over this fort, I'm afraid to tell you. This weapon. I think this will be our last. 
last one. I thought the last one would be the last one, but nope. I want to get another giant group of storm cloaks like all aligned. I don't know how to get all these guys like lined up. They keep moving non-stop. Oh, I didn't even properly hit that one. It's kind of annoying. I should fuse or die him. Too late. Oh, let's see, this is pretty perfect right here. They're all they're all together. <laughs> It's 
to steal which is not cool because I think I outrank them where's that other horse did it already leave well I cannot freaking see once again so I'm just gonna steal one of these horses I think I'm taking a horse that I sorely need and also can we please fast forward time a little bit so that I can see I mean, sure, it's probably still gonna be snowing, but at the very least, it's day. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is very dangerous. This is incredibly dangerous. Should probably not be doing this. Oh dear. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. I don't know how I just survived that. Honestly. Okay, thank goodness it stopped snowing, but... This is incredibly dangerous work that I'm doing. As it's way harder to move down the mountain on a horse than, than it is to do it in person. And my game just crashed again. I don't know what's going on with my game. I don't know why it keeps crashing. I managed to get back to the exact same point. Fortunately, it saved while I was waiting, so I didn't really have to redo anything. This is weird. That's, um, it's so odd that I'm CDD. Um, but it's fine. It's not a big deal. Although I realize that part of my time, my part of my hour and 40 minutes to, oh gosh, here we go, to get the Civil War done, uh, included me crashing. And I, I didn't stop recording. I just kept going. And, um, so it actually was probably, you know, at least five minutes shorter than that total, which is still, I think we're still going to beat that time by quite a bit. Just going across the springs, the sulfur springs, it's pretty cool. Hopefully I outrun that dragon and they've left us alone. Last time I fast traveled to Iverstead and I went from there, but I think maybe this was a little faster. Yeah, maybe faster. Whoa, whoa, okay. Uh, this was not expecting this. Oh, uh oh, I gotta swim. The horses are so slow at swimming. Alright, and I'm actually at the fort, which. I think you can actually just go to the fort and then the fight starts. Look, I'm here. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight on horseback. No, you know what? This is really awkward. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the horse up. You know, actually, um, the horses. Oh wow, there's a lot of arrows. The horses are fine. Like they won't, they won't get hurt because of a mod I have, which is basically makes horses invincible. I think because I was so heartbroken at them dying. That is one kind of cheat that I will do. Just, I will do anything to save the animals and keep the animals from dying. So the horses and the dogs are, uh, like, uh, invincible, basically. But to make things a bit better, I think that they, um, they run away. Well, at least the horses do, so the horses will run away from the fight. Because horses can, like, attack. I think they're kind of weak, but they can attack. Yeah. So to keep it from you having, like, did that, did I miss this guy completely? Oh, I said I was gonna switch weapons. No wonder this weapon's not doing as good. I was gonna do this one. That's better, that's better.
some guys up here. Oh, perfect. You know, just that one move, I can take so many of them out. It's great. Oh, that would, oh, this would have been perfect. Oh, missed opportunity. If I'm careful, and I'm not careful, I'll die. So I do need to be careful. But look at this, I'm just single-handedly just destroying these guys. I really am the dragonborn. <laughs> okay, then that. I think I need to go back to the camp, and then we march on Windhelm. Assume Skyrim's are legends anymore, they can see them. Uh oh, the horse hasn't made it back yet. Also, my clothes are like blood soaked. I have uh, not washed. Okay, this is it, everybody. It's time for the Battle of Windhelm. Let's. What, what enemies? What enemies? What are you talking about? Who? Oh. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Give me Dragon Bane, give me Dragon Bane. I don't, it's not, it doesn't have a charge, but are you serious? <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna start going towards Windhelm and let them. Oh, never mind. It's, it's not a very high level dragon. I can kill it, okay. Um. Now I can go to the stables. I wonder if I'll still get the soul. Let's see if it works. Did you know that, like, if you are getting the soul while looking at the map, you can, like, see it? Usually you could. Maybe not with this map. It looked like I didn't get the soul, though. Oh, get the steel sword chain. Yeah. I guess I could have had the Wabajack, huh? Oh, there it goes. Let's see if it... Let's see if you can see it. Nah, I don't see it on the map. I, I've definitely seen images where, uh, where it's shown up, so... But I do have a map mod. It's a more detailed map. So, I think it's possible that because of that... Okay, I'm, I'm General Delius' right hand Dragonborn, so... I need to be right here. Yeah, this is very important. This is it. This is the people marching on Windhelm. Seven soldiers and me. Like, this is it.
give me a sword, so I might get a rune cup. No, I don't think it's that heavy. But um, General Dolius gives you his special dwarven sword for the occasion, and um, I don't want to use that because I think it would be a way, way better end. Let him get down. Like, let him get down from his. Oh, is Galmar already dead? Wow. Okay, that was really fast. <laughs> um, I think because the entire game of Skyrim starts with y'all over killing High King Doric by shouting him to death, I think the fitting ending would be to shout him to death. So, watch this. Like, I think that that's what Oliver would have wanted to do. I mean, he wanted the Dragonborn to do it, but, uh... I'm just gonna put him back in his chair. Oh, oh, that didn't really work. Okay, I, I, I get the throne now. <laughs> Check it out. I'm the new Jarl of Windhelm, everybody. And that's it. I completed the Civil War Imperial side Skyrim questline. So I hope that you had fun today. I will definitely be doing this again, but on the Stormcloak side. So if you're an Ulfric lover, don't worry. Next time we'll be taking out Tully. <laughs> but it'll be the same character, same time, and all that. Um, like I said, I've got to save from before all this before I joined up and yeah that will be what we'll, what we'll do um in a bit not anytime soon but uh, sometime hope you all had fun today and if you like this sort of video check out the link in the description to my playlist full of Skyrim speedruns I've done most if not all of the main quest lines like the main quest Dark Brother and Thieves Guild uh, Civil War now I've even done like the Stones of Baron's Eye quest line, um, and a couple of other random ones like the Wabajack. Uh, yeah, and I have a full Skyrim playlist full of other Skyrim videos. So I hope you had fun. Um, let me know in the, in the comments if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed already, I would love it if you did. So thank you guys for watching. Have fun. See you next time. Goodbye.